Hello everyone, Gina German here with J German Friends and Fitness with another installment of Perpetually Wednesday. Well tonight I'm bringing it into the kitchen. Yes, uh, shout out to my husband who cleaned the kitchen at lunch. It appears that he vacuumed and mopped the floor, so brownie points and uh, good job you. Um, also he was able to help us out. Um, he works late on Wednesday nights and then I kind of pick the kids up a little bit later on Wednesdays. And so he um, comes home on his lunch break, lets the dog out, and sometimes he'll start to prepare dinner. So tonight he browned and made three pounds of taco meat, which is very, very helpful. And it's very, very quick, especially since it's garden season. So in my garden, I already have tomatoes. I have peppers. Um, my parents gave me some onions. Uh, we have cucumbers. Um, everything that um, we would need to make a taco salad. Um, the kids are um, having burritos, so we have we always have tortillas here because a lot of times we'll have breakfast um, breakfast burritos in the morning. Say hello. Hi. Um, so please take that. Thank you. Sorry about that, mom life. Um, we'll make breakfast burritos in the morning. We'll just fry a couple eggs and then so we have these tortillas around. Um, but tonight I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat with the taco meat. So I like taco meat because it's very, very flexible. Um, I could make a taco with it if I want. I could make the kids a taco burger. I could make it my taco salad. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, you'll have to forgive the tripod and everything, but, um, me being as tall as I am and the not so good lighting and my size in my kitchen, all that, just a ton of variables here. So I'm going to do the best that I can. But um, here's my container system, if you can see, so I'll hold them up. Um, what I have left tonight is two green containers, a red container, and a blue container, or part of a blue container. So the red is the protein, so that's my meat, and then the greens are my vegetables. So here I have one green container full of spinach. Dump that in there. I'm going to add my meat on, right? So that's a pretty good size. I mean, look at how much that is, really. And then um, I did have some almonds today. Almonds do go in this blue container. And so I had some almonds, so I didn't quite fill it all the way full of cheese, but this is also the one that your cheese would go in. So put that on there. Now I have one green container left. And so I have some cut up tomato and onion. And I like onion, you might not, but it is uh, when you, what your preference is. And then I have some red pepper from my garden as well. So I'm going to pour some more in here, pour some of that in here. And then um, I have some cucumbers that I need to eat up. So I don't mind uh, cucumbers on my taco salad. So I'll just kind of break them up and fill up my container. And as soon as my container's full, then that's my portion size. So pretty, pretty neat, I think. Pretty helpful, too. Um, and then just dump it in there. I'll mix it in. Now, what I've gotten accustomed to lately on um, the last few years is um, not really needing. I don't use dressing anymore uh, because if you have a juicy enough cucumber, if you have a juicy tomato, you don't need dressing, honestly. Um, another option would be olive oil, whichever brand of olive oil. Tillman says hello, whichever brand of olive oil you prefer, or like for this taco salad, you could use salsa. You could put some salsa. Salsa is considered one of the purple containers, um, which is the fruit container. Um, there's also the yellow container, which is carbs, but I'm not having carbs tonight because I ate my portions already of those today. So I have my salad. Now, if I decided I needed some crunch, like I really, really miss the taco shell, I want the taco shell, then I could pull out my trusty orange container and I have sunflower seeds on hand and I could put those in there. That's wonderful. Um, but that's basically what I'm going to have for supper tonight. I'm pretty excited to sit down and eat this masterpiece. Um, this is all on my meal plan and so I can feel really guilty about having tacos. Um, or nachos. Um, I am really missing the runny nacho cheese. Not going to lie about that. Don't have any of that, but um, I think we'll make do and I think I'll feel pretty good. That way when Mike gets home, uh, we can nail our workout. So 
here's to you and if you have any questions just leave them below thanks